Hello there, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, we're going to be doing a comparison against the different blood paints avail available. Um, but before we do that, roll those credits. Right, now there's, there's four bloods that I currently know about on the market. So, there's Citadel, Blood for the Blood God, there's the Green Stuff World, True Blood, the Green Stuff World, Coagulated Blood, and the Green Stuff World, Orc Blood. Now, um, what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to apply some of each to this bit of paper so we can see what they look like once they're on. Um, I'm going to start with the Citadel, Blood for the Blood God, which as far as I know is the original sort of blood paint. It's the one I always used. Now, when you add it, this sort of adds the best of both worlds. So when you add it, you can see it pulls up, but you can also move it around. Okay, so you can get fixed spots, thinned out spots, sort of like half and half. You know, you can do thick blood drops, but you can also thin it out for like a smear. Now, the Green Stuff World True Blood. You'll see from this, this is a lot thinner. It's not as dark. And it doesn't sort of look like deep, thick blood either. It's a very light coloured blood. Now moving on to one of Green Stuff World's newer ones, which is coagulated blood. Now I haven't used this yet. So this is the first for me. Straight off the bat, that is a lot thicker. Now you can see there, that is, I presume exactly what it says on the bottle, coagulated blood. And also you notice that looks like it's it's running as well. Yeah. That's that's quite a nice effect. You can see as it runs the sort of darker coagulated bits are running to the bottom. I like that, that's good. Now the fourth one which I think is fairly new, I'm not entirely sure, I just spotted it on their website so I've got it, is Orc Blood, which as you guessed it, is green. Now that to me looks like it's got the same consistency as the coagulated blood and yep, that's running as well. You know, it's the True Blood and the Citadel, they don't run. Obviously the Orc Blood is going to have um, obviously a time and a place, because that's not going to go on every model. Um, but if you do paint a lot of Warhammer, stuff like that, that's going to uh, 
that's probably going to feature quite often. Right now, the other way you can apply blood, if you're doing a diorama or something like that, let's move this camera around. Right, the other way you can do it is with an airbrush and a brush. So, you want quite a uh, stiff brush for this. So, there you go. Now, what you can do is you can load up the brush and flick it like that, but it tends to go in every direction. Um, you can use a toothbrush and a toothpick and flick it. But what I like to do is use the airbrush. So, load up the brush. And then, simply, blow the air over it. Obviously, I've loaded that brush up a lot and it's made a real mess. Um, somewhat akin to someone getting their head blown off or cleaved off, whatever you want to do. But with the Citadel, you'll notice you've got fine mist, but you've also got clumps in it as well. Looks very realistic like that. Now, let's try the same with the uh, with the Green Stuff World True Blood. Let's load up the brush. And when I'm doing it like this, I usually just pour it straight from the uh, straight from the bottle onto the brush. Now you can see straight from the start there that is a lot finer. No real big clumps in it, just like a faint mist all over it. All right, now as I said again, I've not tried it with a coagulated blood, so let's give it a go with this. Now you'll notice there straight off the bat a lot bigger clumps in that. You get the fine mist, but you also get some uh, chunks. I presume is the easiest way you can describe that. So um, I would say that's like a cross between the Citadel Blood God and the True Blood. You're sort of getting the best of both worlds there with that. Um, on a diorama, that would look good. Alright, now let's try the... Uh, the Orc Blood.
And when you do this, you want to get the brush pretty, the airbrush pretty close to the brush. You want to be just a few mil behind it. Now that one, I would say, is pretty close to the uh, the coagulated blood. So I'd argue they're probably the same paint, just a different colour. Um, so far, the two of them have been pretty much the same on both the tests. So, let's put that away. If we have a look at what we've got. So, we've got the Citadel and the Coagulated Blood. Pretty pretty similar, but if I had to pick for spraying with the airbrush, I would go with the Citadel. That's um, more lifelike, I think, looking at it. Um, and always remember, you can go over it again and you can add bigger chunks and stuff like that. Now, the True Blood and the Orc Blood York blood, yeah, that looks cool. Green, obviously. The true blood, it's a lot lighter, but I would say it's probably pretty authentic, to be honest, for a mist, like a, like a spray. Um, You probably wouldn't go far wrong with doing on a diorama, doing a wall like that, and then perhaps going over it once with the uh, with the uh, the coagulated blood, putting that over the top, because then you're going to get the fine red mist, and then you're going to get the uh, the heavier one. So, tell you what, why don't we try that now? See what that comes out like. So that is the true blood previously done. Now we'll go over it with a coagulated blood. Wait for my compressor to stop. Right, bit of a miss hit there. I missed the uh, the main spray, but I oh, quite like that. You've got a natural sort of red mist spray, but you've also got coagulated chunks on it. So using both together. Probably not a bad idea. Um, compare it to what I think is probably the best one, which is the Blood for the Blood God. That's it. There you go. I just like the Blood from the Blood God. I think it looks, it's got everything. It's got fine mist and it's got chunks in it and it's heavy and messy, which is, I'll argue what you want from a blood, spl blood splatter. So, there you go. We've got blood for the blood god. Green stuff well true blood. Coagulated blood. And orc blood. If I was adding blood to something, like a weapon, I think I'd probably go to coagulated blood. Um, pulled up like that. That looks really good. If I was going to be spraying blood, I think I'd probably go with the uh, Citadel Blood for the Blood God. I like the way that looks, that's good. So, um, 
I hope this was helpful. If you know of any other <coughs> um, blood paints available on the market, then uh, give me a shout. Let us know. These are the ones I know of at the moment. Um, if there's any more, do comment. Let me know, and I'll uh, I'll grab one of them as well. Um, I wish I did models more often where I actually got to use blood. Um, a lot of my stuff is film and game and stuff like that. There's not always blood on most of them. I think I'm going to have to find, try and find a model that I can do that's going to be heavy on the blood. Um, but um, yeah, we've got a few more paint reviews and also paint beginner's paint techniques coming out in the next few weeks. Um, so keep an eye out for them. Because um, obviously there's going to be a lot of us now. It's Christmas, there's going to be a lot of newbies out there. Always wanting to know how to paint stuff and what paints to buy, what are the best paints for doing this or that. So we'll try and help you guys out while you're starting out. And uh, yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.